All right, so I know I've talked to most of you. I think three, four, and five. I apologize, I have not spoken to you yet uh, about rolling out ClassLink, uh, but I will follow up with all of you again um, and reach out to, to uh, plan some times to go ahead and get ClassLink started in your classrooms. So um, the ClassLink uh, URL is unique to our school, so you have to launch it through this URL up here. I will create a bookmark for the MacBooks up in the HSD bookmarks. Uh, there should be a ClassLink uh, app on the Chromebooks for the students now. Uh, my mistake apparently, Ted, I swear, told me it was going to auto, like a landing page was going to pop up, but now he's telling me that's not the case. So um, I think they're going to um, connect via like the little apps area where they would do the NWE app and, and things like that. Um, so, but I just want to show you a few things so you have some background knowledge um, in how they're going to, a few things they're going to do when they first log in. Uh, K2, I will help you walk the kids through doing this. So we will be good to go. 3-5, you should be fine. In middle school, we talked about this. They should obviously be fine. So they're going to go ahead and sign in, you know, with their uh, credentials. And if you don't know those, I can provide those for you. So we're going to sign in. And then once they're logged in, they're going to log in straight to their dashboard. Okay, there may be only three or four apps listed, or there may be ten apps listed. It just depends on the grade. Uh, but the first thing you want them to do is we're going to have them go to their profile, and we're going to click on my profile, and then down over on the left hand side, we're going to go to sign in options. We want them to click connect here for their Google account. Mine's already connected, so I'm not going to disconnect but they're going to connect their Google account and it's going to walk them through logging in to Google, okay? So um, it'll pop up the login page and all that stuff, okay? So you wanna do that right away. So then when they're signed out, all they're gonna have to do once that step is done is click uh, sign in with Google and it will sign them into ClassLink and it will also sign them into all of their Google um, apps, okay? So a second thing that you need to know about is this little plus sign up here, okay? This is an app library. Now, you notice I have Google here um, in a little folder. Well, your kids aren't gonna have that. So when they click the app, the little plus sign up here for the app library, they're gonna see the HSD 36 library. They're gonna have that, that option. Um, I don't even think they have these, they only have this. So they're gonna click there and they're gonna see all of these apps that have been added to the HSD library, okay? We're gonna to wanna to walk them through um, adding the ones that we know that they use. Now you as teachers need to do this as, as well because things like Class Dojo and Destiny, Discovery Ed, those are in the HSD library because I didn't, I wasn't sure what classes were actually using them. So you can um, personalize your dashboard as well as have the students personalize their dashboard based on the apps that you actually use in your classroom, okay? So, but we're definitely gonna wanna add, you know, Google Classroom, Google Calendar, Google Docs, Google Drawings, you know, things like that to their dashboard so that they have them. Um, Google Forms, middle school would be awesome to have the Khan Academy if you use that. Um, and then there are other ones that are already pushed out per uh, grade level. Uh, you can also request some apps, like I think Michelle and I were talking about um, Quizlet. I have that on my list to go ahead and push out and that will be available as well. But your main ones like Pearson, NWEA, Britannica, things like that, those are gonna already show up on the student dashboard as well as your dashboard, okay? It's some of those other um, odd ones that I'm not sure who's using and who's not so I didn't I didn't want to just push them out and overwhelm your students with having a bunch of stuff on their dashboard so that's pretty much it honestly um, the ones with the keys here that means they are single sign-on enabled so when they click on it so for example if I click on NWEA the first time I clicked on that I received the login page I put in my NWEA credentials one time and then it's going to always log me into that site. I don't ever have to add that again, okay? So one like Britannica, you won't ever have to do that. Tumblebooks is a un unique URL, so the key's not there, but it works, okay? Um, it'll be fine. So all of these 
should work just fine. And again, I can be in there to help, especially the K2 students, get these slowly, you know, logged in slowly to the apps that they use. So that's it. It's pretty fantastic. And we can start using that to make it a little bit easier on the students. All right. Thanks, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.